Hello guys, I am back. We are still talking about what is going on in Nigerian politics. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. All right, guys, I don't want to waste much of your time. Uh, you have seen that already on your screen. Ndibo has dragged Soludo's name to the deities. Ohanese fumes. All right, guys, Um, it's no longer news about the humiliation, or should I call it insult, from Soludo to Peter Obi for the past three days. And then um, he didn't just stop there. Soludo, rather than supporting his brothers, he have two brothers from Anambra State as presidential aspirant, one from Abga and then the, um, one from Labour Party, that is Peter Obi. But Soludo went as far as telling the Ohanese Ndibo leaders and Ndibo as a whole to support Tinibu and Atiku Abubaka. I mean, I, I am trying to imagine the scenario, what is playing here. I'm trying to imagine why will so, uh, Soludo, you know, go that far? Even if you do not want to support these, your brothers, why not concentrate on your government? You are a state governor. Anambra State have issues. As a state governor, there are some issues you need to tackle. Rather than tackling Peter Obi, I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, um, without wasting much of your time. So, reacting to Soludo's declaration, today being Tuesday, the Secretary General Ohane Zendibo worldwide, okay, Chuku, said that Ndibo have dragged Soludo to two famous divinities and deities. That is, um, one is um, Choko Leze in Mbise and the uh, Ubin Ukpabi in Aruchuku for his unreasonable public behavior. Man, um, I really don't know what happened if somebody uh, takes your name to deities, okay? If you know what uh, usually happens, please put your this thing on the comment section below. So Ohaneze insists that it was obvious that Soludo was against Peter Obi's presidential ambition. I mean, of course, it is obvious. So, so obvious. I mean, even if you do not want to support these people, allow them to focus on their presidential ambition. Okay? So, Ohane Zendibo insisted that Soludo, through his statement, has shown that he is an enemy to the new Nigeria the country is clamoring for, while also maintaining that the governor was employed by an unpopular presidential candidate to pull down Obi's popularity ahead of 2023. Of course, that is the same thing. I mean, everybody will know that it is the truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, everyone should know that, yes, Soludo was sponsored, just like what Ohanese says here, because I really do not see the, the main reason, as in what could have transpired for Soludo to discredit the two of his brothers as presidential aspirants. I mean, I really, I'm trying to you know, get over that myself. Though it is not all the Igbos, but many people believe that the Igbos, okay, I am only saying it, okay, it is not me that is saying it, all right, but what Soludo is doing here tries to prove, uh, you know, some people right. Yes, that Igbos do not love themselves. And that is the same thing Soludo is trying to prove here, which is not good. It is not good at all. So Ohanes advised Soludo to concentrate on the current crisis in Anambra State, Anabga, and stop casting uh, some kind of problem uh, for Mr. Peter Obi. All right? So that is the latest update I have for you. Uh, if you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. Uh, like, seriously, it's so, so, it detests me that Soludo could stoop so low, allow external bodies to use him as a proxy to discredit Peter Obi and other Igbo candidates. It's also obvious. But however, see you guys in another update.